While you were sleeping, the massive news from Woj out of the NBA. The Clippers get James Harden from the Sixers in blockbuster trade style involving seven players. There's four draft picks. It finally happened. After months of drama in the offseason and a lot of speculation, the Philadelphia 76ers have finally traded James Harden to his wish destination, the Los Angeles Clippers. This would be Harden's fourth team in the last four years, and unlike any other journeyman NBA player, all four of Harden's teams have been real title contenders. I guess that's a luxury you get for having multiple scoring titles and an MVP. Now that all the drama has settled down, let's analyze this whole saga from an objective perspective and find out how James Harden finally got traded. Let's talk about the lost love in the story, the relationship between Harden and Philadelphia 76ers GM Daryl Morey. James Harden publicly called Philadelphia 76ers general manager Daryl Morey a liar at a recent event in China. Uh, Daryl Morey is a liar. And I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. Let me say that again. Daryl Morey is a liar, and I will never be a part of an organization that he's a part of. Yeah. And we at least have some idea about why. Sham Sharania reported that Harden told the league that his comments referred to his trade request earlier this offseason. Harden said that Maury promised to trade him quickly following his decision to pick up his $35.6 million player option for next season, according to Sharayana. Instead, the 76ers ceased to trade discussions involving Harden and decided to keep him into the season. Maury said on the record that he would only trade Harden for either a very good player or something that we could turn into a very good player. No such materialized for a while, and discussions with the Los Angeles Clippers, Harden's preferred destination, didn't go anywhere for a long time. Let's just get into the trade details now. ESPN Adrian Waronowski broke the news earlier Tuesday morning that LA has acquired Harden in a package for Marcus Moore Sr., Nicholas Bantam, Robert Covington, Kenyon Martin Jr., and multiple draft picks. Harden's time with the 76ers was short-lived. He appeared in 79 games with the franchise over one and a half seasons, posting an average of 21 points, 10.7 assists, and 6.1 rebounds per game. The 76ers weren't able to advance further than the second round of the playoffs in either of his seasons in Philadelphia. Harden will now have an opportunity to compete for a championship in Los Angeles with Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. From Clippers perspective, they added Harden and Tucker following an injury-riddled season that saw them post a 44-38 record and lose in the first round of the playoffs to the Suns. George was sidelined for the series and Leonard appeared in two of the five games. The Clippers faced the possibility of Harden, George, and Leonard, each being free agents in 2024. George and Leonard could join Harden in unrestricted free agency by declining their player option for the 2024-2025 season. From the 76ers perspective, along with the package of draft picks, they received 22-year-old wing Kenyon Martin Jr. and a horde of veteran rotation players to remain competitive with the juggernauts atop of the Eastern Conference, Boston and Milwaukee. Morris, a Philadelphia native, averaged 11.2 points per game for the Clippers last season. Bantam and Covington are both known for their defensive versatility, while Martin Jr. provides some upside in the deal. Before we talk about the newest super team in the West, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications whenever we upload a new video. I think the best way to characterize James Harden is this is one of the most unstoppable offensive forces in the history of this league, and that's how he's going to be regarded. He's not going to be a guy that's going to be regarded as a winner or a leader, regardless of how this turns out with the Clippers. The Harden trade pairs him with two-time NBA Finals MVP Kawhi Leonard, eight-time All-Star Paul George, fellow former MVP Russell Westbrook, and NBA title-winning head coach Ty Lue. The Clippers' preseason plus 2,200 championship odds have been slashed as low as plus 1,200, which trails only the star-driven Phoenix Suns plus 700 and the Denver Nuggets plus 500 in the West, all of whom are just slightly behind favorite Milwaukee and Boston at plus 400. The Clippers tie the Warriors with the odds and just ahead of the Lakers at the time of this writing early Tuesday morning. The Clippers added the much-needed help at guard position to pair with Russell Westbrook to truly take the team over the top and into the title contention. 
The Clippers at 2-1 to start the season were already a team that was under the radar candidate as they have been compiling impressive performances with Westbrook facilitating the ball, averaging 6.7 assists per game, while George averaging 27.3 points per game and Leonard averaging 23 points per game each. Factoring into the presence of Harden now, who can further help lead an offense with a rating of 120.7, second most in the NBA, while being an on-ball creator or catch-and-shoot threat elevates the Clippers to a new level. I'm trying to wrap my head around what to say about James Harden and, and what his place is going to be when someday we try and characterize his career. In the last four years, he has been on the Rockets, on the Nets, on the Sixers, and now here he goes out to the Clippers each time because he just decided he didn't want to be there anymore and made no secret of it and forced his way from one place to the next, to the next, to the next. At the end of the day, for Harden, it's a homecoming. He grew up in Southern California, and he reunited with Westbrook, his former teammate on the Houston Rockets and Oklahoma City Thunder. He can also again contend for the ultimate pride in the NBA, the championship. The 2023-2024 season is going to be exciting for both the Harden stands and the Los Angeles Clipper fans. Harden has always been very active on and off the court. Check out the 10 times Harden was humiliated.